so the original problem is Taylor had enough money to buy either 90 granola bars or 78 pop tarts. After returning from the store, Taylor has no money, 75 granola bars, and P pop tarts. Assuming that Taylor has not yet eaten anything, figure out what P is. So we know that 90 granola bars is equal to 78 pop tarts because she can buy either or, so they're the same amount in like monetary value. And after returning from the store, she has 75 granola bars, so it's like a fraction of that. Um, so then we can figure out what one granola bar is equal to in terms of pop tarts, and then one pop what pop tarts are equal to in terms of granola bars by dividing them. So one granola bar is equal to 90 78 of a pop tart, which is a little bit greater than one. And then one pop tart is equal to 78 90 of a granola bar, which simplified turns into 15 13 or 13 15. And then you have to figure out what 75 granola bars are equal to in terms of pop tarts. So you just multiply that by 13 15 to put it in terms of pop tarts, which is 65. And then to find the total amount that she bought with the money she had remaining, you subtract 65 from the 78 total possible pop tarts to get. She has 75 granola bars and 13 pop tarts.